Hi, John with Off-Grid Homesteading. Thanks for joining uh, joining me and uh, the project continuation today. So what I'm going to be doing uh, now that we have all the rafter uh, rafters and stuff cut is um, going to be going along the wall here, uh, both sides, marking off our 24 inches on center um, or 24 inch studs, uh, 24 inches on center across the uh, entire front to back. Um, on the front side, on the on the north side, on the south side, I'm gonna take care of that. Then I'm gonna start putting the rafters in, <clears throat> getting the rafter ties, the uh, Simpson Strong ties for um, the hurricane straps and stuff, get those installed, get the rafters in place. Um, and then I'm going to try to figure out a way to uh, do the bird block and have the bird block um, exactly the exact same from, from um, block to block. <clears throat> So um, that's that's the goal anyway, and if I can, then I don't have to do I don't know 15 or 30 individual specific cuts that happen to be off, you know, from in, from uh, from board to board. So we'll see how that goes. Okay, thanks for watching. Please subscribe if you like our channel, and uh, leave us any comments and anything you guys need help with. Uh, I'd be happy to um, answer any questions if you leave any comments for us. And um, thanks again. See ya. I uh, decided to go ahead and return all of the rafter ties after I came across this product. Looks like it's the Timberlock um, six inch locking screw. So it's got a uh, hex head on the back, six and a half inches long, and I'm gonna use these to directly attach through the top plate um, directly into uh, directly into the uh, rafters and um, anyway it says talks about meeting code at lower cost and uh, so anyway I decided to go ahead and go back because I didn't want to sit there and be hammering in um, six or eight nails for each one and three or three or four or five nails and you know maybe compromising the integrity of the wood um, on the rafters and this way, if there's a problem, I need to move whatever the case is, which it shouldn't be, I can simply unscrew it. Um, so, I'm looking forward to trying this out and see how well it's going to work. So, uh, go ahead and watch the rest of the video here. So, here's a bird's mouth cut. Here's our... Uh, Whatever it's called, deck lock, quick lock. I'll put a link on here for this thing. 
And then I'm gonna go ahead and move this uh, over onto my line. See there. All right. There. Pretty secure. Look at that. Leave it.
Okay, so just recording this last piece um, where I was actually getting ready to put the animals up, got the animals put up, and then um, uh, the gray cat, Sippy, ended up getting out while the um, Australian Shepherd puppies were out. And anyway, long story short, she ended up uh, getting up into a tree that was uh, way high. It was kind of a half a rotten tree, so it was very dangerous to get up there. Anyway, long story short, I had to clear out a whole bunch of uh, um, trees and stuff in the forest area behind the chickens and the, um, uh, the turkeys to even get to um, get a ladder back there to try to get up there and, and uh, deal with this, this uh, cat. So I didn't have a chance to finish the last three rafters. Looks like I was three rafters short for whatever reason. My calculation wasn't right. I thought I had, uh, you know, 50 divided by two is 25 plus two for the ends is 27. And um, for whatever reason, I don't have 27. So anyway, I will finish up the last three. I've got to cut um, three, four. I've got to actually cut five, five additional uh, two by two by eight by sixteens so that we have the one that extends over the eave on the west side and over the eave on the east side and uh, since the building was fifty feet and four inches um, I'm having to put one extra uh, rafter on the very end for the um, kind of like the show panel on the end so um, it's not necessary but it needs to be there for uh, the look Anyway, I think uh, I was pretty happy with the way everything turned out today. Kelly drove up to a uh, friend's place and uh, up in Missouri, Missouri, and uh, dropped off um, Jake. It's really, nope. really Tank. 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 Um, so she just got back a, a couple minutes ago, held the ladder, and the cat was starting to make its way down, so I was able to get it out of the tree. So I'm going to go feed the cats next door. Okay. So that's it for tonight. Um, thanks again for watching, and I look forward to having you join us on another episode of Off Grid Home Study. Thanks again for watching. Take care.